My alarm started going off, so I have to get back in bed and do it all over again. It's New York City Day, everybody. Who's going to New York? This beach. <laughs> I'm be really careful, I want to show you my goodies. Oh, just take off the robe, shall we? Picking a poop, watching me poop on the toilet. places you usually come with me but this time i cannot bring you sounds like i will finally have peace and quiet samantha's gonna play with you all the time and i have wag walk scheduled during the day while sam's at work to come get you <laughs> Sus. When I film this clip, just don't look at my lower half because I might not be wearing pants. Okay, mom. Yes. Okay. On the count of three, we're gonna say our loudest and proudest. Hold on, I gotta cover up my coochie. Are you laying like this? Oh, like we're doing it now. Okay. And then use all of your ab muscles. Oh, they think how many. You're gonna use them to not use anything except your abs to sit up straight very slowly. Do you want me to demonstrate? I'm not, I got it. And then as soon as we get to a vertical position, we're gonna scream. In New York! Three, two, one. In New York! Concrete jungle babies are made of! We were both able to sit up with our abs! Who says that we don't have abs? Who says that we're not in shape? That's bullshit. Well, everybody, welcome to New York City. Before we continue on with this video, I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. If you feel like you might be feeling anxious or depressed, a little bit overwhelmed, today's sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists that are trained to listen and to help you. You get to talk to your therapist in a private online environment, completely at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 plus therapist network. So you guys are bound to find someone that works with you and also having that big of a network allows you guys to find access to help that might not be available in your area. Just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then within 48 hours you're going to be matched with a therapist. You just fill out a questionnaire that helps you assess your specific needs and then in as little as 48 hours you're going to be matched with your therapist. From there you guys can schedule video and phone sessions and you can also exchange unlimited messages with your therapist and everything that you guys share is completely confidential. Something that I really like is that you are able to request a new therapist at any time for no additional charge. So join the three million plus people who have already taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. That's better H-E-L-P.com backslash Samantha Joe. It'll also be linked below in the description box. You guys can click it. I promise it's not something you're gonna regret. This is technically day two of New York. Day one was quite eventful, but 
I needed to just decompress after my travel day that I had trying to get here. It was a lot. Basically, I came here without an ID. Do you know how hard it is to get on a flight when you can't find your driver's license? Also, I couldn't find my passport. Also, the name on my debit cards doesn't match my full legal name because this biatch hyphenated my last name. Hey, I didn't know if I was gonna stay with her dad. It was an event. What did you do now that can't see me? There they see me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> really long trip to get here and then once we did get here we slurped make a slurping sound down some penne pasta and some chicken parmesan mm. at la mela and yesterday we pretty much just shopped around hung out and went to probably the most expensive dinner i have ever purchased in my entire existence it was so good. It was very good. And Andrew was turning 30. So it was like his birthday dinner. Yeah, in case you didn't know, he was old. So people were like only watching him thinking that he was like a young, what's it called? Lad. Spring chicken. No, if they wanted to see what we did on day one, they could watch my video. That's true. Mama Kelly unedited. Go watch that. Today is an exciting day. Hold on, don't look at my undies. How did a McDonald's bag get over here? Oh my gosh. Who had McDonald's? That was the loud left here from the last people. Going to see funny ha 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 girl. But why are we going to see funny girl? She wants to see Leah Michelle from the Glee. I need to know if she can read. But we're not even sure that she's going to be <laughs> performing today. But why wouldn't she be? It's a Tuesday. Okay, she doesn't perform it on Thursdays. She doesn't Thursdays. perform on Thursdays. That's what we learned. And then there was like a bunch of other dates. And, and this isn't one of the dates. Yeah. She was able to find the cheapest tickets. We are, we're sure there's like obstructed views, but like we, we made care. the decision that if we're gonna come, we at least wanted to go and see her. Even if we can't see her, we'll hear her. If you did not know this about me, I am a Glee. I had all of the DVDs. I watched Glee 24 seven. All of the rage is that Leah Michelle is now Fanny Bryce on Broadway. And if you did not know, Rachel's dream Rachel Berry. Her dream was to be Fanny Bryce on Broadway. And now she is. It's almost like the TV show is coming to It's coming true, like it's real life. I'm going for Rachel Berry, not Leah Michelle. But the tickets were just ridiculous to buy. Like $2,000 a seat. Yeah, and I wasn't doing that. So I was like, yeah, I know this was the whole reason we booked this trip to New York, Mom, but we're not going. Then Mom Kelly. Oh yeah, she's gonna tell you. I got on that internet thing and I found Two tickets for $196. They were $196 them plus taxes. So. I can't even think of an artist that I would pay $2,000 to watch a concert of. I had accepted that we weren't going to go, but we were still going to come to New York. I wasn't going to let that happen to my baby girl. So we're going. Oh, wait, can you see? No, you can't. I was making sure you couldn't see my butt crack in the mirror. What time is it? It's like 11. No, surely not. 10.37. And the show is at 2. And we need to look not like this. I mean, this is no different than a swimsuit bottom, but I'll put a sensor for your safety. I got my period on the airplane. No, I was kind of emotional yesterday and I was just in pain being a girl. Oh my God, <laughs> romantic. I had a great day yesterday. Me too. I just kept having to shit. Period equals shits. I and agree. there was no public bathroom. Well, there was a few. Few and far between cross the Red Sea to get to one. Well, and then, you, and then when you get there, you felt pressure. The line is 90 people long, while the men's restroom has a line of guess how many people? Zero. And I think you're very much so caught up. Oh, you're like a star now. I like, bet a star. I can be the girl that was. Go ahead and put I heart New York on my butt cheeks. We can fit it. What do you mean? It's, they're so, it's so small. There's not much real estate. I took a picture of them. And I think you're supposed to pay to take pictures of them, but I just took one from a bar. Say so she had a big fat ass. She had a big fat ass. <laughs> This is our view, view of the cité. Now we must get ready and transform into New York baddies. Mama Kelly has something to share with you. I'm gonna set you down for this one. Hi, I'm Mama Kelly, and I got the date screwed up 
for the Funny Girl musical or whatever it is mm -hmm. on what Broadway. What did we spend all morning doing? We, get, we, were get, we got ready. Sam put on her full glam and she was all like, well, she still is gorgeous. And I even put on a little makeup and I had- Look how cute her hair is. Like they even match I, her shirt. We were like all ready to like walk out the door. I'm like, well, let me see where this place is at. And which luckily- Which theater? So we call theater. it Uber. All of a sudden like this big thing Wednesday at two o'clock. Right now we're gonna go head our asses over to the Met. Yeah, we wanted to just see the outside of the Met. And maybe take a stroll through Central Park. Can you not do that? I never thought I'd come back to New York City, to be honest. And here I am twice in almost a year. You didn't want to come back? I didn't say I didn't want to. I said I didn't think I'd be able to. What do I think about the lost hot dog that I didn't have and that experience of saying, one hot dog, please. Just like they do on Law & Order. When they're like out working the case, they walk through Central Park or wherever and they get themselves a hot dog. Would a moose make itself a muffin? Would you want me to make myself my own hot dog? Would a caboose go by without a trailer? No. Would the moon come up without the motion? The ocean? The motion in the ocean. ocean. You can't stop the motion of the ocean or the sun in the sky. You can wonder if you want it, but they'll never ask why. working now. Hi. Let's transfer. Goodbye. Oh, Am I in it? When you finally filmed the entire day, like since you've left the house with your camera, you even went back to the room to get the camera that you forgot, and then you forget it in the Uber, and now the Uber won't contact you. So you come to this Italian restaurant, and the person feels bad for you, so they give you a cappuccino. It's going to be really hot. I'll update you later. Just know it's not going well. The whole day. It's not going well. It isn't going well. It is not going well. Um, it's official. Cam Carter's gone. Ready? Why would I get Rockettes ticket so I can just watch this? Hold on, this cannot be real life. If Lee Michelle, my Glee, my Glee, um, my Glee, I can't even speak. What's you know where we are? That's the stage. Hold on. But she's not going to be here, surely. If she isn't, it's You guys, okay. I could touch her foot. But you're not going to? No, I'm getting in trouble. trouble. <laughs> guys, I could be close enough to sneeze on Leah Michelle. I'm freaking out. F-R-E-K.
Samantha. She won't see me. If I can't see you, you can't see me. Do you want me to start smacking you in the back? I'm gonna fart on you. Hey, ouch! <laughs> no! But it's gonna wait on my, my today so now I'm gonna have to listen to her sing for like the next 10 years no, I mean realistically <laughs> as she pulls the curtains off the wall you bitched and bitched and bitched about t having those tights on and you haven't taken them off since we got home I've already changed into my pajamas I knew I was gonna be a camera I decided that this video was going to be titled I came to New York City and didn't leave my hotel room she did film some things and um, then my camcorder R.I.P. says. I think I mentioned that I was gonna tell you guys what went down yesterday, but I just didn't get around to it. Yesterday was a day from hell. Hell. Yesterday started by us waking up, getting fully ready to go to Funny Girl. As we were going to go downstairs and get in the Uber, realizing the show was today, not yesterday. So then we were like, crap, what do we do? We changed, we decided to hop in a little taxi cab and drive all the way to the Met. The Met's a lot smaller than I was expecting on the outside, but you know, whatever. Underwhelming. We just wanted pictures there, snapped a few pics, and then decided to stroll on in to the one and only Central Park. Just strolled around for a while, took some pictures. Mind you, I'm vlogging everything on my nifty camcorder. Well, we get in an Uber after a little while and we Uber ourselves to Serafina's. And I look down and I'm like, oh, this is a cute bowl of penne. Let me get my camcorder out. Cause if you didn't video it, then you didn't eat it. If you don't have a picture, if you don't have a video, the calories don't count. But I wanted to show you guys, so it was, it was worth the calories. The camcorder didn't exist anymore, gone. Poof either left in the Uber or left in Central Park. We're never gonna know. We Ubered back to Central Park to find said camera. Not there. Didn't find it. Then we went to the Empire State Building. Yeah, that was fun. Watched somebody propose, it was great. Super fun. So you guys get the best content from inside the hotel room and you're just gonna have to accept that. Right, because this, this is what it is. You get what you get and you don't, don't know how to fit. Don't be a little bitch about it. Yeah, exactly. If you're gonna be a little bitch about it, I think it's your feet that stink. It's not. I do think so. Yes. <laughs> That's what it is. I thought somebody kept farting, but it's not. So what could we do that would be entertaining? Oh. <laughs> you were so aggressive. I am so sorry. It was the inertia. I'm fine, everyone. It's fine. Something has changed within me. Something I can't explain. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Okay, ready? Rules of someone else's game. Time for second guessing. Time for making sure. <laughs> Imagine someone knocks on the door and is like, can you hear me? Can you like not be singing at 10 o'clock at night? I'm like, did you just go to a Broadway musical? Exactly, because like she did and <laughs> she has to sing every song. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and put up. Can you watch her fingernails near my eyes? <laughs> Life's candy in the sun's a bowl of butter. Ugh, don't bring her on a cloud to rain on my parade. I just know that you can hear us. You're being a little loud. Don't tell me not to fly. Stop. I see my God. Like for real though. If someone takes a pill, it's me and not you. Who told you you were allowed to rain on my parade? Um, beat my drum. Someone save me. At least I didn't fake it, hat sir. I give up. Thank you. It's gonna be right. I'm gonna film more tomorrow. I'll film outside of the room. We're gonna wake up in the morning, get coffee and bagels. See you then.